I did give a word of admonition that though she is now a doctor, she is not free to write prescriptions for oh. Russell or for anybody else. She can give spiritual prescriptions, but not medical prescriptions. I want you to understand the magnitude of what our sister has accomplished. 300 credit hours, which represents, gosh, let me think here a minute now, 300 hours, which is almost 1,000 hours of class time and studies, and many more than that in terms of reading, preparing, testing. So we're talking about thousands of hours that she has invested in this. Not for a title, but to make herself, as the Word of God says, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman who does not need to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the Word of truth. And that's what she has been doing studying to show herself approved to God to be a more excellent servant in the work of the Lord. And she has achieved something that very few people do. At this stage in life, in the full bloom of adulthood, <laughs> she has persevered and pressed on to complete her doctor of theology. Awesome. What an achievement. And with that also comes the privilege of the doctoral robe, and with that the hood that comes with that. And this hood, if you will turn around to the back so they can see, this hood, these colors represent things. This red represents the degree, the field of the degree. This crimson represents a degree in theology. Different, if you're in education, it's a different color. If you're in medicine, it's a different color. But I think it's very appropriate that crimson represents the theological degree, Amen. the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. The blue and the gold represent the school. Those are the school colors where she attended and where she graduates from, which is Christian Life School of Theology, Christian Life uh, Educational Network, and the Global Network. And so it is with great honor and joy, and I think we have um, a plaque to present her degree, and uh, we want to do that. And I want to tell you, Dr. Harris, I'm proud of you and I'm honored to be your bishop, and I'm honored as a fellow doctor to welcome you to the brother and sisterhood of elite scholars in the kingdom of God. Christian Life School of Theology, Norma Horton Harris, Doctor of Theology. name I thank you for my sister who has invested hours hours sweat tears hand wringing and all that goes with it thank you that she gave it she willingly invested it to make herself a more excellent instrument in your hand bless her Lord that it will not be information only but out of that will grow revelation, not only for herself, but that she will pour into others. Thank you. Bless her. Bless everything she's invested in this. Multiply it back to her and through her. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 been with us for 20 
plus years now. And uh, she's just been like a daughter to us. And I, I want to say something about her that I know she said publicly, so I'm not letting the cat out of the bag. She's one of 14 children. And um, when she was younger, they said to her parents and all that, that uh, she was a slow learner and that she probably wouldn't ever uh, be able to accomplish much and probably wouldn't ever go to college. And Norma went to uh, college and to Appalachian State University and graduated. And now she's finished up. We've been doing this schooling for five years. And she's finished up and got a doctorate awesome. degree. Hallelujah. And so for somebody that's a slow learner, uh, or labeled that, she's accomplished a lot. And one of the things, you know, that First Union Bank used to have a motto, can do. And then Nike has one that says, just do it. Well, Norma's is cum Deo Omni Pasum, which is with God all things are possible. That's right. And she believed that and she's worked hard at it. And there's one thing I can say about Norma, she won't quit, she won't give up. That's right. She's determined yeah. and she once she sets her goal, even if it takes a while to get there, she pers perseveres through that. Amen. And I got to really admire that uh, in her because she doesn't quit, she keeps on keeping on until she gets the job done. And you've seen it up here. She's taught herself how to play the guitar because she wanted to know how to play the guitar. And then she played the keyboard because she wanted to learn how to play the keyboard. So she uh, also wanted to know about computers and taught herself all about computers. Thank God, because Carolyn and I would be in a mess if she didn't. She spends about a third of her time over at our house undoing the mess we make with our computers. Uh, so, so we thank we we thank God that uh, this girl has grown up to be quite uh, an achiever in her life, and we're we're really proud of her. I'm proud of you, Norman. Amen. Hold your head up. Now. Uh, one Sunday, um, Victoria was praying for all those that were in school, and she gave each one, she gave each one, where's Victoria? She, she gave each one of these, and I just want to pass this on to whoever since I finished, I want to pass this yes. on to whoever is wanting to go forward in their education. Amen. So. Okay. Yes. Wow. Thank you. Amen. It's, it's Amen. a story of redemption. Yes. yes. One day I'll tell you that story. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Amen.